Hey, how you doing everybody? This is Alfred from Practical Code Academy. Welcome to a new video. And in this video, we're gonna go over how you can use material library links component. And to start, I'm gonna start by creating a file here. I'm gonna call it MUI link.js. And in this file, I'm gonna start by importing all the components that I'm gonna need in this component. So I'm gonna import from the MUI or the material library. I'm gonna bring in the link component. Also, I'm gonna get the button to show you that the buttons can be used as links. I will get also the typography. So three components, I import them or destruct them from the MUI library. Now I'm gonna create my component, RAFCE. And once you create the React functional component here, I'm gonna create a div. In this div, I can give it some uh, margin by styling it. So margin, let's say 20 pixels. And now I'm gonna import this component inside my app.js. So I'm gonna comment this component and import the MUI link, which is this one here. Once I press enter, it will be imported. As you can see, here is our component. And now it's loaded inside the app.js. And if you refresh the page, you're not gonna see nothing because we don't actually have anything in our component, it's just empty dev. And here we go, we're not gonna see anything. First, I wanna show you that a regular bind, you can use it as a link as well. So let me add typography here or a title. Button as links. So I'm going to add a button here. Go to or Google. And now I want the user when he click in this button, go to Google, and you can pass the href prop here. And that's will let the button be as a link where it will take the user or redirect the user to google.com. So you have to put the HTTP for a slash www.google.com. And of course you can use the other props like variant equal contained. And you also can pass the color to be secondary. And by that, it's not gonna be a button or it's actually gonna look like a button, but it will act as a link. Here we go. Let me, okay, let me click in this button. Once I click in it, it will redirect me to Google. Beautiful. And I have my button here. And this typography here, I'm gonna give it a variant of H6. I'm gonna give it some margin of two, and I'm gonna align it to the center. Or I don't need to align it. Let's save that. Take a look. Now I'm gonna have the margin and it's variant H6. Perfect. Let me just margin bottom. Yeah. Now we're gonna see how we can use the link component. I'm gonna add a topography link component. And I'm gonna use the variant H6 and margin bottom of two. The link component is, is, is very simple. You can just type in link and you type the text of the link here, link one. And you need to pass here the href. In that case, I don't wanna go anywhere. So I'm gonna just pass, put in the hashtag 
and you can let's see how it looks like without changing the color or the variant here we go that's the normal link that you will get from uh, MUI library actually I'm not going to do this MB MY to have a margin on top of bottom here we go so this is a regular link let me actually put here MUI default link now let's create another link where we're going to give it a variant you can change the text of this link i mean not the text you can change how the text look like for example here if i put the variant as h6 it should look like it's a heading level six and if you inspect that it will be actually an A tag. So both of them is an A tag. However, the styling for the second one look like a heading level six because you give the variant of H6. And you can add some breaks here. And here, MUI H6 link. You can use the color prop. So I'm gonna put here I'm going to remove this prop, put the color to be secondary. MUI colored link, save that. Here we go. We have it with the color secondary, and I forget to put the break here as well. And the last thing I want to show you is that you can put a link inside a typography. So, for example, I can use a typography with the variant, let's say, H6. Let me put a break here first. And now inside this typography, I'm going to put my link component, which I'm not going to go anywhere, href. It's going to be the hashtag link inside typography. And now let's take a look at it. Notice that the styling of the link will be taken from the typography component that's surrounding it or the parent component, which is the typography. And the reason for that, if you check here, you will see that the link is inside an H6 component because the typography is a variant of H6. However, it will inherit all the styling properties from the H6 in that case, or the H6 element, which is a cool feature that now you can style them either with a variant or you can pass them inside a typography to style how the link will look like. That's it for this video. I hope you understand the link component and when to use it, and also understand that the button component can be used as links where you can pass the href props. Okay, I'll see you in the next video where I'm gonna actually show you, I'm gonna try to clean up this folder by creating an index file here. And in the app.js, instead of keep importing every individual component in a separate line, because we keep importing them as default component. I'm going to create an object inside an index file here to group all this component, and then I can export this object, and I'm going to be able to destruct any of these components in the same line. Similar like what we do here with the material library. You see here how we can destruct two components in the same line. I want to do the same with my custom components. So I'm going to show you how you can do this trick in the next video. Okay. See you in the next video, guys.